Hi, welcome back to Marissa Explains It All, and today I'm doing a tutorial using my new Urban Decay Spectrum eyeshadow palette. It's limited edition, only available at Sephora, so if you want it, you should go out and get it. But here's what it looks like. It is all beautiful, jewel tone, colorful shades, and I did a green look here, up using these shades here. Um, and this is the look I created. I also have a review video on this palette. I will link it below if you want to go ahead and watch that as well. But if you want to see my tutorial and see how I came up with this green look using this palette and see how it performed, then go ahead and keep watching. Okay, thanks. Okay, so let's just get into the tutorial here. And I don't have all of my face makeup on. I have foundation um, up on my forehead and my eyebrows and then a little bit of concealer just in the corner here, but I didn't do this part of my face because these shades are all very glittery and I expect there to be a good amount of fallout. Urban Decay is kind of known for their fallout. So here again is the palette. And I used these green shades here and then some of these brown shades. And there are no mattes in this palette. They are all shimmery. So I did use a shimmer shade for my crease, which is not normally what I would do. I expected the glitter to fall out, but it didn't. It's still there. So I still have a lot of glitter in my crease, which isn't normally how I would wear my makeup, but I really wanted to use most of the shades from this palette. So I'm going to start off with using the shade Daybreak here in my crease. And since there's no white or light shade in this palette for my under my brows, I'm just going to use my concealer as my highlight. So I'm just going to take this shade and just put it in my crease a bit and blend it up just to add some color and it has little silver glitters in it that really stick. They don't fall out, which is good if that's what you want. If I was wearing it, let's say, on my lid or something, I would want that. So, just on a fluffy brush there. Then I'm going to take a flat paddle shader brush and I'm going to go into this shade Junkie, which is this teal green. And I'm going to put this on the first half of my lid. See, they're super, I mean, that was just like one swipe. There's not really much more that needs to be added, which is kind of crazy. Um, and then I'm going to go into the shade Protest, which I really like. It's like a beetle green. And actually, when I was doing the other eye, you know, because I do the first this eye first just for the sake of time so it doesn't take so long. I actually really kind of wished I would have used this shade all over my lid, but I'm just putting it here on the outer half and blending it into the junky shade of green. And you can see it's just this really beautiful like iridescent beetle green. Then I'm going to take a more defined, tighter brush there, and I'm going to go into the shade West, which is a dark brown. I'm going to put that in my crease to help blend out these greens and add some depth and dimension there. And then go back in with my blendy brush and blend that out. I'm gonna just kind of clean it up under here a bit. There's a little glitter fallout and then clean up this line here. Okay, then I'm gonna add, since I don't have any concealer under my eye because I you know, was preparing for fallout, I didn't wanna have to put concealer on and then have to remove it. Um, so I'll go ahead and do that. But first I wanted to go into this shade here which is called Flatline and it is like a shimmery pink. And the really cool thing about this is I put it on the inner corner here and it changes this green into kind of a blue shade. So it creates this really cool ombre effect where it 
makes it look like it goes into this kind of purpley pink into kind of a blue into green. So without having to use a different shadow, it just creates that. But to help blend this out, I did pull in another I, uh, palette. I pulled in my Naked Basics, my Urban Decay Naked Basics, and I just go into the shade Foxy, which is this kind of peachy. And I'm just gonna help blend that out up there in the front so it's not so stark. All right, so that's how the shadows perform. You can see they're really pigmented. I mean, you just put them on and they it's pretty much one swipe and done, so that's awesome. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add concealer under my eyes so that I can do the under eye portion here. And I'm going to just use a flat concealer brush and my Maybelline Master Conceal, and this is in the shade Fair and just go under my eye and then just with a foundation brush blend it out I'm going to take my Stila uh, Perfectly Poreless Putty Perfector. <laughs> I did a review of this and I like it better over, in my review, I didn't like how it creased, but I like it better over a concealer and other face products. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put that over, like as my foundation. Move on to the lower portion of my eye. And I'm going to add the Urban Decay 24-7 Shadow in Junkie to my lower waterline. And then I'm going to take like a really, really tiny shader brush here and I'm gonna go into that shade Protest, which is that really beautiful beetle green shade. And I'm just gonna run that along the outer half of my lower. So just mimic exactly what I did on the upper. And then I'm gonna go into the shade Junkie, which is that more teal green and do that on the inner portion. To just blend them out a little bit, I'm gonna take a little crease brush and I'm going to go into the shade Daybreak, which again is that brown shade that I put in my crease that has some shimmers in it. And ideally I would be using matte for this, but I wanted to use as many of these shadows as I could. So I'm gonna just run that along the bottom just to kind of blend those out a bit. So it's not like such a harsh line. So that is the green look I came up with using the Urban Decay Spectrum Eyeshadow Palette. Looks like that. And I do have a review video on this, so I'll go ahead and link that below if you want to watch that as well. But to this is a tutorial, so I'm going to add my eyeliner, and this is the L'Oreal Carbon Black Eyeliner. Gotta have a steady hand with it though, because you can mess up like really easy with this stuff. This is how I, I um, learned to do my eyeliner with this, so I wouldn't say it's for beginners because I went through my wonky eyeliner days trying to learn how to use it. So there's with the eyeliner, I'm gonna go ahead and add mascara and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just added the mascara and I'm going to finish up my face using my It Cosmetics Translucent Bye Bye Pores on a fluffy brush, and I just really like this powder. I like the finish it gives. I like the way it mattifies. Okay, with green eyeshadow, I often like to wear a peach blush, so I'm going to stick with Urban Decay and use my Urban Decay Naked Flushed palette, and it looks like that. It has a bronzer, highlighter, and a peach blush. So I'm going to use an angle brush and go in with the bronzer. And I'm going to go into the peach blush with a big giant fluffy my blush brush. <laughs> and I'm just going to put that on my cheeks.
to use my fan brush and go into the highlight there, which is a golden kind of highlight, a peachy kind of gold highlight. Just add that to the tops of my cheeks. To finish the look off, I'm going to use NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Maple Blonde. It's just a nice kind of peachy shade because my eyes are so intense, I didn't want to do a full-on opaque lipstick or like a matte lipstick or anything like that. So, just put on some gloss. This is usually what I do when I'm not trying to do... When I have an intense eye look and I don't want to have an intense lip look as well, I'll just put some gloss on. Here is my final look full face using tutorial using the Urban Decay Spectrum palette and as you saw in the the tutorial the shadows are really pigmented I mean literally like one swipe on my brush and it was fully opaque and um, you know the color payoff is really good the only thing is there's no matte shades and they're all jewel toned so if this isn't a, sh a palette you think you can create looks or you don't like these kind of shadows. I love purple and green because I have my eye, my, the shade of my eyes really complement those shades. They're complementary shades to make my eye color pop. Um, so, but there's also neutrals and then obviously like these pinks are kind of neutral. There's these brown neutrals and then these kind of neutrals as well if you only wear neutrals. Although, I guess if you only wear neutrals, you probably wouldn't be interested in this palette. But I really like jewel tones. They're my favorite color range, period. Not just in makeup, uh, like hands down on anything. So, here is my green, green fall look that I created using this palette. So if you like my videos, go ahead and like and subscribe and you'll see more from me later. Okay, thanks. Bye.